Alistair Thorne has recovered from the wounds he sustained during the Battle of Castle Black and continues to observe the new recruits. As Thorne walks through the courtyard, he gives Gilly a look of contempt due to his hatred of the wildlings. Later, Thorne is present when Mance Rado is executed by Stannis Baratheon for refusing to bend the knee. With the choosing of a new official Lord Commander impending, Alistair seems to be the favorite to succeed Jor Mormont due to his efforts during the battle at Castle Black. Stannis Baratheon and Davos Seaworth attempt to use this to sway Jon to their side, implying that Alyssa will make Jon's life in the Watch miserable solely to undermine him. During the choosing, Alyssa runs against Dennis Malister and Jon. While Thorne acknowledges Jon's accomplishments, he also reminds the Black Brothers of Jon's sympathy towards the Wildlings. However, Thorne loses by a single vote, that of Maester Aemon, and Jon is chosen as the new Lord Commander. Stannis later advises Jon to send Alyssa away to Eastwatch by the sea, but Jon prefers to keep him around in order to learn if he is plotting against him. At a meeting, Jon prepares to assign a black brother to oversee the digging of a new latrine pit. Alyssa believes that Jon will use this as an opportunity to humiliate him, but is surprised and somewhat elated when Jon acknowledges his skills and names him First Ranger. When Janos Slint subsequently defies Jon's order of reassignment to Greyguard Tower, Sir Alyssa initially blocks the Black Brothers coming to seize Yarnos, but ultimately steps aside out of his newfound respect for Jon. He watches with the rest of the Watch as Yarnos is beheaded by Jon for refusing to follow orders. As First Ranger, Thorne becomes a part of Jon's inner council. When Jon proposes that they allow the remaining wildlings to pass through the wall in order to escape the coming White Walkers, Thorne is against the plan, reminding Jon that they have been enemies for thousands of years and caused the deaths of numerous sworn brothers. Thorne is later present when Jon departs Castle Black with Tormund for Hardhome to persuade the remaining wildlings to surrender, denouncing the mission as reckless and an insult to all the Black Brothers who were killed by the wildlings. He also quits to Sam that he is losing his friends, and by extension, his protection. It is possible that Thorne was in fact warning Sam about potential attacks on him and Gilly in his own, gruff way. When Jon returns with the wildlings he managed to rescue from Hardhome, Thorne is visibly angered by the presence of wildlings outside the wall, but gives the order to let them inside after Jon shows himself. As the wildlings are allowed through Castle Black, Thorne coldly quips to Jon that while he may have a good heart, it will get them all killed. A while later, on Thorne's orders, Ollie lures Jon into the courtyard, where Thorne claims they have captured a wildling who may know where Benjamin Stark is. Thorne, however, leads Jon to a post with a sign marked, Traitor, as a group of mutineers surround him and he is the first to stab Jon and say, for the watch. Jon manages to push Thorne away, only for Uthel Yarwick, Bowen Marsh, two more officers and Ollie to each take turns in stabbing Jon. He and the mutineers walk away and leave Jon for dead. 